that the challengers were brought up on in this industry. But the champions come in with all the confidence and all the momentum here at Premier because they have protected those championships at all costs since the month of November. I mean, if you look at the champs, how do you not come in confident? Look at He met a human Duke Davis on the left. Pro Wrestling's All-Star Gannon Jones Jr. on the right have been the centerpieces of Chris LaRusso's court in what has become an absolute takeover of Premier Championship Wrestling top to bottom. From the Premier title, the tag team goal, from the brains of Chris LaRusso to the erratic nature of Ron Mathis, the court has had the number of so many. However, in recent months, we've seen the likes of Crumbles and Defarge, the likes of the culmination begin to rally back. The fate of the Tag Team Championship will be a major, major uh, test either way as far as how this war will sway between these factions. This is the final ever meeting between these two teams in the year 2019. No matter who walks out victorious, no matter who walks out with the gold, that's a decision everyone involved is going to have to accept. No rematches, no other attempts between these two for six months? Yeah, till six months from now would be the month of January. And that's if the team in question that would be challenging is in line for a title shot at that point. There's a lot of gray area there. Or if or if either team still held the title at that point. Also true. But, uh, it's always a festive atmosphere for this entrance. So you gotta believe the mood will change in a moment's time. The traveling businessmen of Chikara Pro Wrestling have made premiere their home away from home. They have won the Tag Team Championship before. It was in the spring of 2018. It was in a ladder war. Crumbles and Defarge survived the Cobra Brothers to get that honor. But this is a much different team and a much different match style. But the stakes remain the same. Yeah, I would say it's a much different team. Bigger, stronger, more athletic, a whole different series of attacks. A whole different philosophy on how to attack. You make sure they check. You make sure they check. Look at it. Look at it. What is that? What is that? Is that high merchandise? Farge has uh, some trinkets for sale if you're in the market after the show, Jay Work. Well, what's he selling? It's like some jewelry. Like socks. Some, some high fashion right there. Calvin Couture teachers? Challengers! Champions demand to be announced first. Introducing the first. Lendl suffered enough tonight. Gotta be protected. Yep, yep. Bring jacket off. I had a dollar. over that top rope and makes it look effortless in the process 
but uh, it'll be a bit more difficult to fend off the challenge. Farge are moments away from what could be one of the most arduous matches of their wait a minute Cornelius Crummels attempting a moonsault look at the Farge Crummels and the Farge knock down the main event in the early going keep in mind best of three falls Chikara rules and Gannon and Duke are already calling timeout I did, did the bell even ring yet I'm not so sure Cheaters. Yeah, what that guy said. Cheaters. Well, have you been paying attention to what Gannon and Duke have done over the months? How about the, the Gatorade uh, bottle sprayed into the eyes? How about... Uh, wait, look at this! Monkey flip the Farge sets crumbles into the main event! Still haven't heard about. Well, the main event need to stop uh, taking their eyes off their opponents. They don't have to have their eyes on their opponents until there's a bell. They're not opponents until there's a bell. Do I need to bring out the rule book again? I think the bell rang by now. Though. I apologize. I think, I think Nate Pierce sounded for the bell during your rant. Suplex elbow combination. And we're going to count it, which means this is an official match. We're in fall number one. And for Gannon and Uppercut, for Gannon and Duke, who are already maybe off of their game, Uppercut, Uppercut, Uppercut. Being this is Chikara rule, certainly Crumbles and Nefarge did not give them any time to, let's say, assimilate into their surroundings. No, not at all. Oh. And Defarge went to charge in. Gannon just pushes him off with that brute strength. And Defarge to the floor, but lands on his feet. Drop kick! Gumbles and Defarge hit from all sides. Another drop kick. Keep in mind, Jayworth, when Defarge hit the floor, that constitutes a legal tag to bring in Crumbles under Chikara rules. Yeah, Chikara rules very similar to uh, Lucha Libre. Uh, 20 count on the outside. If your partner... Gannon taken down. If your partner goes to the, the... If the legal man goes to the floor, it's considered a tag. Two out of three falls. And that's something that Gannon and Duke are not normally prepared for. It's not in their instincts. As one be crumbles in the Farge, Defarge went to spring off the ropes and come back with a clothesline. We've seen it many times, so has Duke. Duke takes care of Defarge, it's Gannon on the crumbles, and the main event now have divided and conquered. There's big boots right to the head of Crumbles and the Farge. Oh, huge impact. What do you think's the secret? the main event seeing success in this matchup. Um, just being the main event. Look at it. Huge sidewalk slam, hook of the leg. First fall does not go to the main event yet. How tall is Duke Davis? A shade under 6'6". Six, six. He is six foot forever. You do, not, you do not walk up to a man that size and think, well, I'm going to chop that down and have, a, and have any sanity left in. And Cannon and Duke with the brute strength, the power, the headbutts, whatever uh, you expect out of the TME playbook, literally speaking, the play's written on the uh, forearm of Gannon, keep in mind, and you gotta believe there were some extra strategy sessions with Chris LaRusso, who's not in attendance here tonight, but you know LaRusso's watching, and you know he's prepped his charge as well. Yeah, you would have to assume. I mean, Chris LaRusso is not one to to just let a battle happen. He always has battle tactics at the ready. Russo will have his hands full. He's preparing for his first premier championship defense next month at Boiling Point against Jackson Stone. Suplex Shogun makes his premier return, and LaRusso would love to celebrate post-match with the main event with all their championships still intact. With gold piled upon gold. And again, take some issue with the official ruling. Good headbutt right to the ribs. I think the main event are trying to utilize an in-ring double team when that does not constitute a tag in Chicago. True, it does not. 
And that message by Gannon speaks for itself. Letting him know he's number one. So to speak. You can see the welts and bruises forming on the body of Cornelius Crummels already, who has taken quite a beating in just the early going of the first fall. For the ride, Canada drop kick. And we talked earlier about natural athletes pound for pound. Guys that can get it done. Gannon, Gannon Jones Jr. is another man near the top of that list, if not at the top. Just a fantastic athlete. There's nothing that Gannon Jones Jr. does when there's a cover for two. There's nothing Gannon does he can't make look effortless. He is fast. He is strong. He is well conditioned. I've never seen him with his mouth open trying to suck in some air. They are, they are as perfect a tag team as I think you could ever be. Crummels is trying to fight to his feet, but... Good luck. When you're on your feet, you're still looking up at Duke Davis, let alone in Crummel's position. Again, we've seen the power that these men display. They just hung them up on that rope and then dumped them down. Normally, Gannon will stall with it, but Interesting strategy to attempt to rush the air out of Cornelius Crumbles. Is this perhaps a, an attempt to uh, shorten the wind of Crumbles and Defarge in what could be a long matchup? Well, like you said, he, uh, he normally he hold he, uh, And that's what we're seeing now. Delay it and hold it there. The handoff. He made it, and this may have been a, uh, a mind game. Crumbles got free. Crumbles got free, but he's... Uh, Maybe facing a worse fate. I don't know that I would call that free. No, he just tagged! That counts as a tag! Crumbles out, and the main event still don't get it! They're not, a, yeah, they are not used to these rules. Now they do. Here comes Sonny Defarge, crossbody! Duke out. Get him ipso facto, the legal man. Uppercut. Uppercut. Up and over. Out of tag, Defarge didn't hit the floor. But he's able to roll back in, duck out of the way of Gannon. Gannon tags, here comes Duke. Now they're getting the hang of this. Sort of. Duke back to the floor. Main event are trying, but Defarge and Crumbles are certainly uh, well more in our comfort zone. Wait a minute, look at this. Crumbles off of Defarge, the Tope and Hilo. Up over that top rope, flipping and just landing with himself compacted into the main event. Oh, what a high risk maneuver by the challengers. On top, Gannon, no, Gannon, able to kick out. Crumbles these uh, side round kicks. Maybe trying to knot up a, a thigh muscle. I think that's exactly what he was trying. Gannon Jones Jr., you're not going to knot up any muscles where he targeted. Yeah, I mean, it's a fine strategy were it not for the fact that Gannon Jones Jr. is. Now, wait a minute. Look, not look at Duke Davis has got the championship belt. He's just letting everyone know. And he's got the second one. No, he doesn't. Well, Gannon, how's this for letting everybody know? minute. He doesn't have it anymore. What happened? Crumbles has it. Gannon takes a dive. Why did Crumbles hit him? He did not hit him. It, Wait a minute. Well, now that's just dishonest. What? what that's, that's what happened the other way around. No, you, you, your voice get high there, Joe. Duke's I know fight. what's happening. He's just holding it. Yeah, no one saw anyone hit anything. But if there's a disqualification, there's going to be an extreme disadvantage here because we're going to go right in the second fall, somebody down. A DQ works just as well as a pinfall here, keep in mind. And the official trying to sort out who did what to who. Defarge conducting a pull, I'm not sure how official that'll be. Official, it's barely scientific.
Well, it's Duke's own fault. He's the one that inserted the championships in the match to begin with. Oh, now Duke! And just blasted him right in the face. And that's a disqualification. That's a rather loose interpretation of the rules. Ladies and gentlemen, as a result of the disqualification, Cornelius Combs and Cynthia Mars have won the... Oh, the first got hit! And the second fall didn't begin yet! You're correct. There's a, there is a rest period between the falls. The main event got frustrated over the rules favoring uh, what Crumbles and Nefarge are accustomed to. They couldn't actually study the lucha genre and pick this thing up. So they're just going to hit people in the head with a title belt. And, and, and now they're going to beat the hell out of Crumbles. But, I mean, Crumbles and Nefarge are up one fall to none, but... I mean, that could be a, 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 a token statement at this point because, I mean, the main event could pin Crumbles twice here and, and move on with a victory. The term you are looking for is strategy. This is a strategy. Sacrifice that first fall to make sure that the second and third go nice and simple. And it's Duke to the midsection of Cornelius Crumbles. All TME spinning sidewalk slam. And it almost feels academic. No, crumbles the shoulder up. Well, Jay Worth, I don't think the 30 second rest period did much to help crumbles come back from that title uh, uh, blow to the head. He's just the worst for where he was at the end of the first fall. No, not at all. I think he might even be a little worse at this point. Well, he is at this position, I can guarantee you that. Look at the eyes. Look at the scowl on Duke Davis. As you can tell, he's putting all of his uh, 270 pounds of power behind this. Can't say I would want to look across the ring and see Duke Davis upset with him. Not at all. I wouldn't want to look at Duke Davis upset at me via satellite, let alone in the same place. Up. Ooh. A nice high angle. And Gannon on top for two was that championship uh, shot to the skull what TME needed was that their way of in their minds at least evening the score I mean they've had complete control since this remains to be seen whether or not it pays off do you think that strategy came from the LaRusso playbook given to Gannon's forearm? I would say definitely, if I were looking in that playbook, I would not be surprised to see that in Chris LaRusso's handwriting. And Gannon a cheap shot as Crumbles just hung up here. Look at, wait, if Crumbles falls to the floor, it's a tag, but DeFarge, keep in mind, he got struck as well. He's a little better off than, than Crumbles, but Duke and Gannon are not letting Crumbles drop to the floor to constitute a tag. And TME are starting to master this stipulation and utilizing that very stipulation against the challengers. I mean, they're not idiots. They will pick up on the on the subtleties of this style of a match. It may just take them a little bit. It's not, it's not their home turf like it is for Crumbles and Defarge. Once again, Crumbles hung up on that top rope. Could be something to take away that wind of Crumbles as Duke Davis with a knee. And Crumbles drop. Defarge drop. Just a good hard clothesline back into the ring. And uh, Gannon charges in over the top rope with the stomp. Good TME even the falls. No Defarge the interruption. And Defarge wants a piece of Gannon, but Defarge is risking disqualification if he doesn't get out of there. And Duke from behind. And saving his partner. Yeah, all four men in the ring at this point. Planted. Oh. And kicked. Just pumped the skull. Crumbles the entire time was the legal man. He never made it to the floor. As TME continues. Oh! oh flea flicker! And Crumbles dropped hard. I think this will do it. Fall two to the champions. And 
Right now, Kreble's in the forge, not looking good. I don't know that that 30 seconds is going to be all that salubrious, or at least salubrious enough to, to bring them back into contention for this match. And even though the falls are tied, Jay Worth, we've seen Crumbles and the Farts have to recover during both rest periods. And to me, this puts the main event definitively in the advantage. Here's we head into the third deciding fall. Distinct advantage, Joe. Jay Worth, uh, all four men showing the signs of battle. How do you rate the endurance? How do you rate the fatigue of all four? Wait a minute, this could be it Got right it. here. Let's get, no! Crumbles just barely gets out of it. But uh, another cover. Two count only. On paper, you'd think TME would run Here out of gas Here first. And another kick out. TME are the larger men, and Gannon stubbornly not letting this go. TME are the larger men, Jay Worth. On paper, you'd think they'd run out of gas first. I'm not seeing that in this matchup. Your analysis. No, not at all. The thing is, they're the larger men, but they're also the better, the better conditioned of athletes. Look at those two. You can tell they put the time in at the gym. You can tell they also put the time in at the track, on the on the treadmill, on the elliptical. They do. Have you ever seen either get winded? Not that I can recall. I've never seen it. They are two well-conditioned athletes. Nothing against Crumbles and Defarge, but they are not the main event level train. Davis a hard slam. On top, and a near fall. You don't get a lot of cardio in as, as a traveling salesman. I'd suggest not unless you're running door to door. But Crummels has had so much taken out of him. This is what, six or seven near falls in a row where Crummels has just barely eked his way out. And each time it feels like it gets a little closer, doesn't it, Jim? Certainly does. And Crummels noticed the main event are keeping him not in their corner, more towards the center of the ring to avoid Crumbles getting out to one of the sides of the ring constituting a legal tag under Jakar rules. And now you'll notice Gannon there, not necessarily for the cutoff, but definitely put himself in between uh, Crumbles and his partner to make sure that that tag could not happen the, the standard way either. He pushes it, it essentially forces him back toward the main event's quarter. And get, get, oh, get it again. A near fall. And, and you can just sense the desperation every time Crumbles moves his body. Two and seven eighths, two and 15 sixteenths. These fractions keep getting thinner and thinner, Joe. And so too may the odds of a Crumbles Defarge victory. What do you want? And Crumbles looks, he's daring Duke Davis to hit him again, and Crumbles just slapped Duke Davis in the face and pays for it. It looked like Duke Davis may have pulled the punch a little the first time. So uh, round two and, yeah, round three here, he's not pulling anything. What do you think that is, momentary sympathy? Uh, the guy's on his knees, he's not looking good, maybe you just don't put it all in. And then he clocks you one, and you're like, well, okay, let's open up them floodgates. Well, that leg Laria caught Crummel's uh, flush. And again, Crummel's is motionless. And Gannon, look if they get a chance. There's nothing DeForge can do here. Gannon going way up high. All the way up. Oh. Nobody there for the moonsault. Crumbles smart ramp rolled toward the corner. There's no way to adjust. Wait, for wait that. a minute, wait a minute, look at Crumbles! Crumbles is nearly out of the ring! He's that out. That counts the tag! The tags. And here comes Sonny the Farge uppercut! Uppercut! Big chops. Uppercut! Uppercut! The big man of the challenging team with a running uppercut! Defarge, the freshest man in this matchup, you gotta believe. And going belly to belly, can he get the meta human over? Duke Davis, too big, too powerful, too centered with his gravity. Duke goes right for the ears. Defarge, face first. 
Thomas is an absolute machine. He's able to, to cut the forge off at the pass, but only for a moment. Look at this! Duke Davis elevated into a backdrop. Could this be all? No! That's the first time I think Duke Davis has ever been backdropped. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't see too many people take him off his feet like that. And Crummels is uh, motioning for something. This is the 450? Uh, we'll see what this winds up being. Well, not a 450, but certainly a revolution. Double time! Ooh. Crumbles lands on top. Will this be all? No, Gannon pushes Defarge into Crumbles to break the fall. Defarge, I give him credit, trying to play defense, make sure that that fall counts. But Gannon just used him as a weapon and pushed him into the fall, breaking it up. And again, you could see. Uh, all four men are just spent at this point. They are digging down deep for something. Gannon, double underhook, float over. Into a submission. Into the Royal Butterfly. This wouldn't be the way anybody would have waged their bets on the end of fall three, but it's a potential reality. Will we see a tap out? Defarge in. Defarge, a low drop kick shade to his partner. A big running kick right to the face. And Defarge pushing Crumbles back out of the ring. Crumbles in that fracas had wound up legal again inadvertently. Now we're back to Defarge, the fresher man, in there with the metahuman Duke Davis. Boot to the gut, throws him off. Oh, Defarge. Went to spring off of that clothesline again, but a choke bomb by Davis. That'll do Ooh. it. Still the champions, though. Can you believe the effort we're seeing? I cannot, and I think even more shocked at the effort right now is Duke Davis. I, I think he thought that was it. Because he now has to question how much more does he have to do? A crowd uh, certainly vocal in their support for Sonny Defarge. Sonny trying to battle his way out against the main event. Not an easy battle. Shots for everybody here. Upper cuts around. Get it. Block the arm. Look out. Oh. Flea Flicker Defarge counters. Roll up. Traps him. Submission attempt on Gannon's braced knee. Oh, wait a minute. This is shades of this is shades of when Defarge and Crumbleson had beaten the main event when they were champions. Duke is boxed in, he can't interrupt. Defarge now, the STF. He has it locked in. A choke underneath the chin. And Gannon. Into almost a, a crossface chicken wing. And he's still there got, it is! Still got the step over toe hold with a chicken wing. Gannon can't move. Will Gannon tap away the tag team titles? Oh! And two. That's one way to break it up. Yeah, just Duke got control of Crumbles on the far side and just launched. Crumbles into the forge and man, I wouldn't be surprised if Crumbles lost five or seven pounds in this matchup. This has taken such a toll on his anatomy. Good lord. But I gotta say, Gannon didn't look good there. Wonder how long it's gonna take to recover. Oh, Gannon was was locked in tight. And now Duke and Defarge with everything they have back and forth uppercut. The thing is, when someone has a what's known as a blood choke on you, such as that, when the blood comes rushing back to your head, it, it can be a bit disorienting. You don't have your wits about you not immediately. Defarge, the series of uppercuts now explodes with one. Ooh. But Duke with a hard right of his own. Oh, 
this is gut check time in a huge way. Just forearm versus, versus English uppercut. Well, who can dig down deeper? Duke elevates to Farts. Wait a minute, the drop kick. This will do it. Main event, I've got him. Two count, no! Oh, the ref should have been in better position on that. That should have been three. Well, you, hey, you can blame the referee. You blame whoever you want, but to me, that was intestinal fortitude from Sonny Defarge. The look on Gannon's face a moment ago spoke volumes. They cannot believe that the challengers are still in this. I mean, I can't believe it either. Nothing against Crumbles and Defarge, but I've watched the main event Run through bigger men a lot quicker. Well, Duke Davis signals the end is now. Power bomb. Pile driver. And up oh, Crumbles! Up the back of his partner! Charging knee right to the face. Thrust kick to Gannon. Stop! Duke Davis may be knocked out! Cover! Gannon interrupts. I don't think Gannon interrupted so much as Gannon passed out. It could have been luck. It could have been instinct. It could have just been gravity. But either way, the contact made necessitated a break in the fall. He just happened to fall the right way and got lucky. Ooh. Doozled. And this fall will be far more violent for Cornelius Crummels. That was a textbook choke slam. Up, out, down. And that will do it now! Unbelievable! And Gannon checking the playbook on his arm. How many, how many plays do you think they have left? They sort of hit him with, with I think everything I've ever seen the uh, the main event pull out. Yeah, I mean, we were going to do uh, double overtime here, extra innings, whatever analogy you want to make. We are deep, deep into this contest. And I don't know what any of these four have left. It's time for a Hail Mary. Crumbles oh. is trying to fight free. Gannon is sending the turnbuckles. Duke trying to remain steady. He has a hold of Gannon now. I think Crumbles is, is trying to fight through everybody. Duke trying to grab Crumbles and get him off of uh, that top rope. Here comes DeFarge. Oh, got the close eye that time. Third attempt to charm. And now, off the back of DeFarge, the monkey flip. Gannon into Duke. The air rushes out! Come on! Double pin! They have done it! It took two men to hold that pin. The far jet crumbles have made history! They've survived two out of three falls, and they have become the first ever two-time Premier Tag Team Champions. Congratulations to both of them. The main event is perhaps the hardest test I've ever seen anyone ever have to undergo to prove that they are tag team title worthy. They fought like hell. We thought Chikara rules might be an advantage as the matchup developed. It almost became a disadvantage as the main event dominated and manipulated the circumstances. Duke Davis, I don't think he still understands what just happened, but Coles and Defarge, their moment in the sun was well-deserved and nearly a year in the making. A changing of the guard and a big loss for LaRusso's court as Coles and Defarge Celebrate victory! I can't imagine it's going to be a happy day at the King's Court now. Hats return to the new champions. What a night! What a moment 
Crumbles in the Farge have done it a second time! Premier Tag Team Champions!